Alright, what's going on everybody? Majin Khan here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I hope to see in the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games that were recently announced. This is officially Gen 9 and it was recently announced uh, last weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and just get off into this and start breaking down what we've seen in the trailers and picking who my starters will be. So as we see the game, the trailer starts off with some landscaping of the new Pokemon world that we're going to be in for Gen 9. And it has i don't think it's well, i don't know if it's been confirmed confirmed but from what uh, i'm learning that this region is based off of southern europe which is pretty much uh spain and portugal and i, I think i think that's a pretty um i think that's a pretty good world that we're uh, going into i was i personally was hoping that or am still hoping that they make a uh a Pokemon game region that's based in, in, in somewhere in Africa I think that would be amazing but I think this is a pretty good uh, decision that they went with here so as we can see they brought back some of the you know familiar Pokemon that we're used to seeing I don't think they're gonna reveal much of the new strictly gen 9 Pokemon yet because I just I just don't feel like they're gonna reveal any of that because I think they're gonna kinda save that for maybe a, a later a later trailer from when the game is close to coming out and they're going to start showing like more of the exclusives uh, via the versions. And I think right now they're just kind of showing you what Pokemon they chose as far as what they're going to put in the world. I know one of them is Hisuian, that's for sure. And so far, um, it, the game trailer, it, it, it looks really good. Um, I'm glad it's coming out this year. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see what the cities are like. Uh, are they going to go back to doing, you know, gym leaders? Um, I know in Sun and Moon they skipped that. Now, I want to talk about the player uh, design. I don't like the, the player that you're playing as. Or I don't like the outfit that you're playing as. I'm hoping they can do uh, customizable outfits in this game. I'm a little worried about that, but um, I guess we can deal with it in the meantime. So, uh, other than that, I think the trailer was pretty good. Um, I can't wait to see... Uh, uh, a little bit more if they drop a second trailer. I also want to see a lot more uh, Pokemon uh, reveals for Strictly Gen 9 as well. Alright, so let's get off into the starters that I'm looking to choose so far. So, from left to right, we have Sprigatito, which is the f Grass Kitten. We have Fue Coco, which is the Fire Crocodile. And we have Quaxley, which is the Water Duck or Donald Duck looking one on the right. Uh, they all look really good. This is a good set of stars that have excellent designs. Um, so who am I planning on choosing? Well, I can say this that uh, as drippy as Quaxley looks, he's probably my least favorite so we can go ahead and get rid of him. I am a grass lover. I love the grass starters, but I want to give the grass a break and do something that I normally don't do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm going to stick with Fue Coco. I think he's going to be my go-to starter for this game um and he's you know he's a reptile crocodile so i love my reptile starters so yeah so far Fue coco is the one that i'm going to be choosing as my starter so far anyway but what did you guys think of this uh pokemon scarlet violet uh, reveal personally i'm getting violet that's the game I'll, I'll, I'll be getting that's the version uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below until then i'm gonna catch you guys next time